Hello, I'm Chris from Discount Aquarium Fish and Reef in beautiful Tempe, Arizona. Today I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about repairing center braces that may break or uh, come disconnected from the front or back of a tank. The first thing is, if you have a full tank and your center brace falls in, uh, if your glass brace breaks because you had too hot a light above it and water splashed on that hot glass, Whatever the case may be, if you have a brace uh, that breaks on a tank, you want to, as quick as possible, get about half of the water, maybe a little less, out of that tank, take the pressure off of those seams. And if you're in a pinch to fill it back up before repairing, get out to a hardware store quickly and buy a brace. You can get these in all different sizes. They're very easy to use. You slide them out to the width that you need and then you use this handle here to tighten that brace down. Uh, when you take that water out of a tank that's had a, a brace break, the tank is gonna come back in generally uh, where it's bowing out to uh, its normal width, but just in case, go ahead and lay a tape measure on the side of the tank, figure out how many inches that's at, and then lay that on the middle of the tank See if you have to bring it back in a little bit with your clamp um, before you fill it back up. Once you've got it clamped, you're safe to figure out whether you're gonna be able to brace this tank. First, we'll talk about tanks that have plastic uh, rims in them that have plastic braces that are hooked to that rim that goes around the tank. Now, Plastic braces are usually broken because someone picks up a tank from that plastic brace. They're not made to support strength going that direction. There's tensile strength as far as pulling uh, apart, which doesn't require real thick glass or real thick plastic. Um, so if you pick a tank up by that, you may end up breaking that brace. The other thing is don't leave your tanks that you're waiting to use out in the sun many times that plastic starts to become dry and crack and then you have problems with your bracing you have an ugly tank because the bracing is broken uh, on the front of the uh, the plastic brace so don't leave them out in the sun now if that brace is broken and there's no place that you can grab onto it in the front or the back you're not going to be able to repair that efficiently you can't go ahead and put a piece of glass in place of that brace. Uh, you can maybe get away with it on a smaller tank, but usually what happens when you try and replace a completely missing uh, brace or whether it's glass or plastic by putting a piece of glass in the middle, um, normally that just doesn't hold and the tank will uh, sooner or later or right when you fill it up release that silicone and that piece of glass will not be supporting again so if you have a plastic rim tank and you can't grab on anywhere there same thing when we talk about glass tanks your real only option is to find an aluminum welding shop have them build you a brace like this this one happens to be longer in the back they can just come down a couple inches in the front and the back measure the exact dimensions that you want the inside to be before they bend it and uh, you can use these to go ahead and add external braces to a tank you'll notice the tank behind me here this is a really wide 36 inch wide rimless tank it had bracing uh, euro bracing except the uh, couple of the braces came loose these braces were put on there's four of them I recommend if, if you have a tank that's three feet you can get away with one if you have a four foot tank you can get away with one five foot six foot you're gonna need two uh, seven eight foot you're gonna want three or four we've got four of them on here um, basically when those braces went out the tank bowed slightly we used clamps to go ahead and pull that tank back into position uh, we had a, a <coughs> excuse me, aluminum welder weld some of these. We painted them black. We put them on the tank. We removed the clamp, and we've been good for a couple years. So that's one way that you can do it if you can't repair that brace. 
Now, if you have a plastic brace, uh, it may be one, it may be two. A lot of the 125s uh, that don't have glass bracing have a couple plastic uh, braces that are part of their top rim. Uh, all you need to do then, if you've got part of that brace, whether it's just got a crack in the middle and you have the whole brace sitting there, or whether a piece is missing, but you still have something to grab onto in the front and back, you're gonna get a piece of acrylic. You're gonna cut it the width of that brace that you're needing to redo. Um, you're gonna go ahead and go to the hardware store. Ace is a good place for this. Ask them where their nylon bolts are. You'll get a small nylon bolt, like quarter inch, uh, that's about one inch long. You'll go ahead and set this on top of that brace that you're gonna need to repair. You're gonna drill through this and through the brace um, on the part that you have still coming out from the tank. You're gonna fasten that bolt on there, screw it tight, uh, and this is gonna provide all the support you need as a bridge from where that brace is broken. Now, as far as glass bracing is concerned, you may not like to hear this, but if a glass brace has come separated from the front and back, generally you will be, like I said before, unsuccessful trying to glue in a new brace. But there are some things you can do. If the, the brace is glass and it just happens to have cracked, that's an easy fix. You're gonna cut a piece of glass to lay on top of that glass brace. You're going to put a bunch of silicone on that piece of glass. You're gonna put that piece of glass on top of the broken uh, piece of glass. You'll clamp it down with some clamps to spread out that silicone, or you can push it really hard, but you don't, obviously you've got a broken brace. You don't wanna push that through. Your goal is just to, to silicone on a nice piece of glass on top of that brace, you're fixed, you're good to go, no problem. Now, if you have a tank that is a four foot or less and you have a glass center brace go out, and you can actually do this on the plastic as well, you can cut a couple pieces of glass that are about five inches wide and put them on the ends on both ends of that tank. There's more silicone then because you've got silicone going along the side and then you've got silicone going on the front. You're basically providing support, not in the middle, but the tank is only four feet long. You're gonna cover about a foot of it with your five inches on each side. Um, so there's three feet left in the middle. Normally it's gonna cause it to not bow. Um, so that even though you don't have one in the middle, um, normally a tank when it starts bowing, it will crack from those sides. Uh, that's where the pressure tends to be when it bows out. So that would be side Euro bracing that you can do. Again, I would only recommend it if you don't want to uh, do the uh, aluminum brace in the middle uh, and you want to try gluing in a couple Euro braces on the side to take care of that. Um, if it's glass tank and it's bigger than four feet and the glass brace has fallen out, if it's just cracked again, we're gonna sandwich it with a piece of glass, then your best option is going to be going to that aluminum shop, having them build you some braces. Um, if it is a four foot tank that you're trying to brace again, one will do you. Uh, five foot, six foot, you're gonna probably want two, uh, seven, foot, eight foot, you're going to want three or four. Um, that is just about everything you need to know about what you can and what you cannot do to repair a brace, but you can definitely get your tank fixed and up and going. Consider if it's a small tank, if it's a 55, that's often the case with that center brace. Your other option, it's a used 55, it's not worth that much. Sell that tank, put in the listing that it is has a cracked center brace, and your reptile people or somebody that thinks they can fix it uh, will often buy those if the price is low enough. And then you can find yourself another 55 used that's not gonna cost you that much. Save yourself the hassle of doing the repair. So um, you, that's your other option as far as broken center braces. Hope you liked the video 
And again, if you have any topics you'd like us to cover, if you ever have any aquarium related questions, look us up on Google. Uh, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, uh, we have our website, we have YouTube. Uh, you can see other videos, you can see other articles, different things on all those uh, mediums. And uh, if you leave us a topic you'd like us to cover in an article or a video, um, we will try and work it into that schedule and get you the information you need. If you just have a question or whatever, call us on the phone, email us, connect through us through Facebook or the website or Instagram, and we'll be happy to answer those questions for you. Thanks very much.